Well, welcome back you lovely bunch, thanks for tuning in again, hope you're all doing good. Right, it's finally sunny, as you can see if I sit right there, I'm completely blinded by the sun. So it is time to take out the truck bike with this gigantic gearing on it, look at that. Look at the size of that. So here's your standard 47 tooth track sprocket, and you compare that to this gigantic monster. Yeah, humongous! So I think it's a 63 tooth chain ring, or maybe a 64. It has quite a unique design, as you can see here, there's a tooth missing every other tooth, and it is the same on the rear as well. So on the front, I believe it's a 64, on the rear we have a 14, so that is a humongous gear ring. Obviously, track bike, no brakes, not legal to ride on the road in the UK, so we're going to head down the Vela Park. It's a closed road circuit, it's pretty much flat. I think it's the perfect place to test this out. But you know what, I'm not actually sure if there's a long enough straight to get on top of this gearing, but it's just a bit of fun. I want to know if this gearing is going to ruin my legs, you know? I did actually put my power tap pedals on as well so we can get a bit of data whilst we're out there, be all scientific and stuff. But before I do that, I've got to pop to the gym, so I'm going to chuck this in the car, go to the gym, and then I'll check back in with you when we're at the Vela Park. Right, let's go. Gym's all done, we're now in painting at the Vela Park. I don't know if you can see out the back, but there's a Vela Park is just there. Um, and somehow I've got to get changed into my cycle kit in a very, very small car. So it's still a little bit wet. I was hoping it would have dried out whilst I was smashing my legs in the gym. Do you know what? It's probably a really bad idea to do a leg day in the gym followed by a massive gearing session. I don't really know what I'm doing on this massive gearing. I'm just going to ride it around and see if it blows my knees up and see how fast I can go and all that stuff. Do you know what? The Vela Park is actually pretty damn good for training. I just find it incredibly boring. But to keep it interesting, I'm riding a bike with a massive gearing and no brakes, see? So that'll be fun. Right, I'm gonna somehow maneuver into my cycle kit in this car and then we're gonna go ride bikes. Right, let's go. All right, there we go, we're all sorted. I've got my headphones ready and John, you know actually one of the good things about riding at the Vela Park is that you can ride with two headphones. Normally when I'm outside, I'm riding with one headphone and you don't get to fully immerse yourself in the music. Which leads me nicely into today's sponsor for the video. These are the Air 4 Pros by Soundpeaks. These have just come out. They're actually really nice. I've been using them for the last few days. Really small, really fast to charge, dead comfy, dead good. They have like tons of different features like anti-noise cancelling, like a game mode, a normal mode, all these things. Battery lasts for like 20 million hours or 24 hours, I believe. And it's quite quick to charge using just a USB-C. So if you do fancy checking out the Soundpeats Air 4 Pros, Click the link down below. There's also a nice code there that'll get you a bit of money off. So I've been using these for the past week in the gym, out riding, everything. And honestly, rate them. Right, so back to the video. The track bike's hopefully still in the Vela Park. I've just left it whilst getting dressed. Right, let's go ride it. Boop. Here we are at the Vela Park. It is a 1.5K of flat peddling goodness. There we go. There's my little advert for them. Consider just let me ride here for free. Right, let's see if this completely destroys my legs. Right, do you know what's quite funny? That I'm doing like 60 RPM and about 40 kilometers an hour right now. Like it is a constant grind. This is definitely, definitely not the place to be testing this out. It's good because there's no traffic, but honestly, I just can't get on top of the gearing. Even on the long straights, like I'll get up to like 80 RPM. That's 50 kilometers an hour. And then by the time I get down here, I've run out of track and then I have to start stopping. And honestly, I think today's mission is just try and do a skid on this massive gearing. I don't even know if I could skid it. I went to stop and was just kicked forwards. I say my legs are gonna be sore tomorrow. Leg workout in the gym, followed by a massive gearing track bike ride. Ouch. Honestly, I could go a little bit smaller. If rather than have a 14 at the back, a 16 I think would be quite nice. And that might just give me a little bit of a lighter gearing. That's for here. I mean, in a velodrome, it's probably really nice. That's when you can actually get on top of the gearing. So anyone can get this rolling and, and keep it rolling. But the thing is, how fast can you get on top of your gearing? That's when you need like a lot of leg strength. And then to keep on top of it without like blowing up or burning out, that's another thing. So just pedaling around, I mean, that's fine. 
I'm fine at pedaling around, but if I want to do a good standing start, I have to put out in excess of a thousand watts just to get this gearing going. So you're hitting a thousand just pulling away, then you get on top of it, which is like a four, five, six hundred watt like mission. Then once you're on top of it, you know, you need to maintain it, which again is like 300 watts. <laughs> Oh my god, I'm not fit enough for this gearing. This gearing is definitely too strong for me. But you know what, I'm going to go out and enjoy it a bit more. So, let's go pedal around some more. My legs are too tight for this crap. Like... <laughs> I can barely turn it. I'm trying so hard. I can barely get to a thousand watts. I mean, I knew this was going to be hard, but Jesus Christ, I was not expecting it to be quite as hard as it is. You know what I'm blaming? I'm blaming the cold weather. It's cold. It's just not very pleasant. I'll tell you something else I've noticed, because it's forward pedaling and back pedaling on a track bike, the power data gets all confused. It doesn't know. It doesn't know if I'm pushing forwards or backwards. But essentially, I am putting power on the pedals when I'm resisting them so I can slow down. But you get like zero power reading for that. Like it only gives you the forward momentum power, which I think is rubbish because I need a little bit of extra power because currently, apparently I'm doing zero watts. <laughs> but this is something I've always noticed with track bikes. The power meter reading accuracy isn't always that accurate. Like if you're riding on the velodrome, fine. It'll be no problem at all. But if you're doing a fixed gear crit, that's when your power meter is just going to go weird. Because obviously you're backing off into the corners and you're putting a lot of power through the chain ring, the chain and your legs and all that doing that. But it gives you no reading. There we go. Not a rant, just an observation. I don't have the power in my legs to put out anything today. Just going to do a slow ride at 27 RPM. But here we go. So I'm currently at 26 RPM and I'm doing 18.3 kilometers an hour. So there we go, give it a bit of a kick. I'm now up to 150 watts. We're now doing 25 kilometers an hour at 44 RPM. <laughs> it's just insane, right? Absolutely mental. It's a shame that I didn't have this when it was sunnier, because this would be hella fun in the summer when you can like really rail these corners. Because at the moment it's wet, there's seagulls, and there's all this like moss, which is a little bit sketchy, and I don't want to fall off today. But in all honesty, I'm glad I've got out for a ride. I'm glad I got out today doing a bit of riding outside. I've been stuck inside for the last two days. I've done four hours on the indoor trainer. The plan isn't to do too much today because I've got a whole week of fun stuff planned. And the last thing I want to do, especially after doing legs at the gym, is blow my legs up and not be able to enjoy the rest of my week. I'm going to park up. I'm going to give you some lovely shots of this bike looking all like beefy. <laughs> I've conquered a skid, <laughs> nearly blown my knees out. I feel like that's about all I can achieve today. Positive, I like riding bikes. This bike is a fun bike to ride, you know? I haven't ridden track bikes for ages. Yes, this gearing is far too big for anything practical. I mean, other than riding on a velodrome. Completely stupid idea. But there's also a closed circuit here and why not try it out in a safe environment before we take it onto the road to try and do a really long high speed test down a really long straight road. Do you reckon I should do that? Is that a bad idea? So for my highest watts or my peak power, I need to be spinning quite fast. And spinning quite fast on a like 64, 14, hmm, not very easy. Right, so I would say that is the Vela Park complete, massive track gearing complete. I mean, not really complete, a bit of a total fail. I've actually got a spider right here on my neck. Can you see that? I don't know if you can see him, it's very tiny. So I used to have arachnophobia and that would have freaked me out, but I had exposure therapy and now I'm not scared of spiders. Random fact. Yeah, that was, that was a massive fail. I didn't have the legs today to push that. I say I want to save a little bit so I've got something left in the tank for the rest of the week, but that was a pretty clear indication that my legs are blown up. So I might be needing a bit of a rest day tomorrow. Apart from the gym and maybe a little turbo session. 
But damn, that was that was not what I expected. I expected that to be much easier to push. It wasn't going to be quite so heavy. I don't know why I didn't think it was going to be that heavy. The track was also not very good for it. But we got out, so that's a win. We rode a bike, that's a win. So it's not a fail all the way around. It's just a fail on the whole cycling part. Massive thanks to Dan for the mahoose of chain rings. That I'm probably never going to use that much. But yeah, they're awesome. And remember to check out the Soundpeats headphones down in the link below. Right, I'm going to leave it there. Remember to like, comment and subscribe. And I'll catch you guys very soon. Bye.